Hey, it's WZ Plastic Boing with a new video. Sorry for not uh, uploading for like uh, three weeks, two weeks, don't know. Been busy making mocks. Well, before I tell you about that, let me tell you about this set that I got, the Slave 1. Oh, wait, no. Because of Disney and copyright laws, it's now called Boba Fett's Starship or Spaceship, which is kind of stupid. Overall, before I get into the video, let me tell you, this is kind of overpriced for such a small Lego set, and I'm pretty sure the main thing we're all focused on here is the freaking awesome Boba Fett minifigure. Awesome, nice, look at that printing. So stylish, so shiny. Oh, and before any of the haters on the internet call me out, let me just say that, no, I don't have the stickers, I'm cheap. <laughs> Anyway, this is WZ Plastic Wing with the review of Boba Fett Starship. First, let's get on with the minifigures. I don't know if this would count if I put stickers on, but this is supposed to be a carbonite uh, form of that fat pig green alien thingy person from Jawa's Palace. Is that what you mean? And this is Din Djarin, which was seen in Trouble on Tatooine. And in uh moff gideon's start moff gideon's light cruiser and now it is here no face just blank black face gotta say printing is nice you got that flamethrower slash uh grappling hook thingy you got the whistling birds or is that the grappling hook you got nice leg printing and back printing and this cape is the same material as the Razor Crests. It comes with one Beskar shiny sphere, spear, and one mini blaster. And Boba Fett. He's equipped with one gun thingy that is comprised of two pieces one handgun piece and one bar piece his his accessories are this jetpack and this helmet this is a new dark green i think probably a relish color it still has the dent here from Return of the Jedi, and don't know what this is. And he and the helmet also has the same standard holes for accessories like this rangefinder thingy. And look at this nice head printing. See the scratches? Pretty nice. Almost like he just crawled out of the Sarlacc pit just yesterday. And here's some back printing. Pretty nice. Over here is where I think the flamethrower slash uh, blaster thing would be. And over here is probably the whistling birds. Or the uh, hologram thingy. And over here on both feet are mis the little missiles. Which he does like this to the stormtroopers, either concussing them or killing them. And look at this nice chest printing over here. I think it's uh, the Death Star blowing up. And over here, I think it's the power level. Anyway, let me reassemble this minifigure. Show you its full awesomeness. And yeah, there he is, both set. But anyway, let's talk about the vehicles. Over here is one side vehicle, which is why they must have pumped the price to 50 bucks. You can use this to carry the carbonite thing, or you can use it as a stand for both that starship. Oops, sorry, those fell out. See? 
Don't know why anyone would do that in the Star Wars canon universe, though. You can sit, seat one person in there, standard toggle controls over here. This was a relatively fun build, but I think this uh, kind of was idiotic to include in this set, since we all just want to slay one. And in some cases, an actual play feature for the seismic bomb, which we did not get. Thank you very much, Lego. Over here, we have, on the lower portion, we have uh, about 180 degree uh, rotating, dual rotating cannons here. And over here, it... And this actual structure is formed by Technic pieces, but it's concealed by these uh, tiles. It was pretty nice building this part. I would have hoped it would be a little bigger. Over here is where you would actually put the carbonite. It slips just fine. But I just use it to put this thing and pretend it's the seismic bomb from the Mandalorian and all the canon movies. Like that. On the back side, uh, here's the engines and thrusters. Pretty nice designing these. Over here is where we would actually see the seismic bomb just popping out. And over here on the wings, they're Technic and rotate uh, whenever uh, the center of gravity is changed. Doesn't really work right now. And, but before we get to the cockpit, let me tell you about this part of the build. It's, it was actually fun and genius, even though it was pretty small. Uh, instead of just using regular curved pieces like this, they added another layer, which was super, and created a sort of illusion. See? i me pop this back in. Yeah. And in the cockpit, we see control panel and uh, studs for the Boba Fett minifigure. Sorry, flu season. You just attach him to the studs here and uh, flip over his thingy. Uh, there are no controls for him to actually reach inside. Just this for his head to bop on and you close it. Sort of undermining, I know. Weapons are these two stud shooters and the cons I would say in this set are one it's super duper ridiculously small here let me get the razor press to show you the cannon I think the slave one is supposed to be just as big as the razor crest Here's the behemoth known as the Razor Crest, but the Slave 1 can just barely fit on. It's only about one half of the size of the Razor Crest. See? It's even smaller than the cockpit, I think. Yeah, it is. And other than the small smallness, I think the most spotable con is the fact that uh, this isn't actually working. It's not really that uh, logical for there to be no control panel over here, but instead it's over here, which is weird. How's he going to pilot the thing? Just bopping his head around? And another thing that uh, angers, that would 
anger most fans is not just uh, the fact we don't have a seismic bomb in this version, but that whenever you swoosh it around, whoosh, one of those things is eventually about to fall out. Believe me, uh, it actually did it a couple of times. And I can't find the sister thingy. Overall, this set is really great, considering that it has all of these minifigures. But, I just question why exactly it's so small and so prone to accidents and structure instability. And another thing, in the Razor Crest set, uh, the engines are actually supposed to be round, like round, not an illusion round, but actually round, like you see in the show. And yet, in the Slave 1, this puny set, they included these pieces, which they could have put on the Razor Crest. Just weird. Very small brain. It's, it's a no-no. Lego, you outdid yourself. This is really small and really weird. Good job.